I've been waiting a long time to play Fire Emblem on something other than a DS or a 3DS or a portable system or a mobile phone. Oh, whoa, 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 video, video game. <laughs> You're kind of cutting the intro a little short here. I've been waiting a long time to play. All right, let's just go into it. Oh, the very sleek menu. Very sleek. Very excited to play this. Very, very excited. You finally have a Fire Emblem on the proper console. Uh, so let's just go in and see what this is all about, man. I'm going to go for normal. But I am going to play classic. So when you play classic and Fire Emblem, every death is permanent. So... <sighs> Please pray for me. Hope everything looks and sounds okay. I think it's the intro they put out uh, a couple weeks ago. intro is so rad. Palm strike. Right to the bridge of the nose. Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! <laughs> die! Die! You took everything that I loved! This intro is hella dark for a Nintendo title. God damn! I don't remember that blood pool being in the trailer. My man is dead. She was all like, I am nobody's waifu. He's gone now, mother. <sighs> oh, what was that about? Almost looked like the uh, time stone or something. What the hell? They did not show this in the trailer. Box, any predictions on who this is? Oh my. What could have brought you here? Hmm. <sighs> I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. 
game's graphics look really good all of a sudden when you're like in the game. Oh, select the form. Do you hear this music? Do you hear this? That's like so eerie. All right, I am a dude. I will pick the dude. Form of man. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? Oh, what the hell? Oh no, I hate when you have to do these kind of questions. Oh uh, guys, I'm gonna need help. Um, I'm a demon, I'm a mortal, I'm a ghost. I am a mortal. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. I think that's his name, but I'm going to delete that. And go with, uh... Go with Nam D, because that sounds like a proper... Professor's name. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? What? Ooh, December is the ethereal moon. Oh, well, hold on. Let's see what everyone's birthday is that I know. So. Oh. Um, Mike's Mike's and uh, Cal's moon is a wyvern moon. Let's see what Flox is. The harp string moon. Oh man, I don't know all that. Twenty seconds. Wow, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Wait, what? No way, we share the birthday. That must be rigged. It all feels so familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. <sighs> it is almost time to wink in. Music is so crazy. Like I don't know how it comes across on the stream, but in my ears, it's like the hey, chanting is all around wake me. Up. Oh, who's this guy? Were you having that dream again? Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Yes, Jorb. This is the Where's brand the new Fire Emblem. The three houses. Mercenaries like us. I'm right at the beginning of the game. Wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with the situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform. Oh, the series is great. Outside the village. Damn. What's up, Gibbs? I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon Just got home from work? Hey, Come man, on, get some sleep. Move. Hope you're ready. Hope, hope tomorrow is better for you, man.
Everyone, shout out to Gibbonator Gaming. And to Jorb, if you've never played Fire Emblem, this is a turn-based strategic RPG where you have permadeath for your entire roster. So the stakes are very high for every battle. And this is the first one that Nintendo has made for a mainline console since I think Dawn of Radiance on the GameCube. It's been mostly a portable series for a long time. But I've uh, avoided as much as I could on it. I know some stuff, but in terms of storyline and everything, no clue how it's supposed to function. A skirmish at dawn. Prologue. An inevitable encounter. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, this is uh, actually one of Nintendo's longest running franchises. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. People know a lot about Mario and Zelda and stuff like that, but Fire Emblem has been around for almost just as long as those games. Select that unit and then, then move next to an enemy. All right, this is all pretty basic. Stay focused. Okay, we get our comparison right here. It's a very slick UI. A weapon will break when repeated use brings durability to zero. You can fight with a broken weapon, but your might and hit rate will be reduced. And enemies will make follow-up attacks more easily. Huh. Not sure I'm gonna feel about that. I'll cut through. I must stay focused. Use the battle menu to create bookmark saves, view tutorial guides, and more. Okay. Prevail. She is an axe. I'll keep her up front. Both can attack from long range, although their hit rate is reduced as range increases. Ready and willing. Huh. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Terrain effects. Certain terrain will have effects in the unit occupying it. Forest for instance, evasion and defense. I mean, there is a Fire Emblem game on phones. You know, it has a little bit of pay to one stuff, but if you want to get uh, the very basic gist of what a Fire Emblem is, You can always give that a shot. People yes, seem to really like it. Good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Terrain types. Forests are not the only terrain type you'll encounter. Keep an eye out for others such as thickets and heel tiles. Okay. Opportunity. It's the combat arts I taught you. Combat arts are powerful techniques that use more weapon durability than usual. They do not typically allow for follow-up attacks. 
There are no combat arts for reason or faith. Those skills grant magic instead. Okay. We have our first, like, set of skills. That is that. Right, my character doing all right. Combat are curved shot. Oh, that was cool. It's not luck, it's fate. Combat arts Tempest Lance. Okay. Over already. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. I was wondering if there'd be a special enemy that would show up, but I guess so. <laughs> yeah, the curved arrow, man. Hey, Gibbs. I didn't have to curve it around someone, all right? Maybe the curve is that it went on the Earth's curve, and it would have went around the world to hit him. You know what I mean? You got to think about it. Enemy icon in the case you'll get an item that is highlighted. Okay. Let me, uh... Hide my ass in this bush. See what they pull off here. Took advantage of the terrain. All right. What the? Aren't you Gerald the Bladebreaker? No, this guy's freaking out. What's a renowned mercenary like you doing here? I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. Damn, you talk all that shit that you miss? Come on, man. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. When you attack an enemy that's also in range of one of your other units, you will trigger a linked attack. Your avoid rate and hit rate are higher than normal. Link attack also build support. Okay, this is all pretty basic Fire Emblem stuff. So far, it hasn't been anything like truly new. Curve shot. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand. I need to heal myself because I'm really hurt. Oh, that takes the turn then for the character. Interesting. Ah, she can smash. Oh, she's going to get hurt really bad. Uh, let's just move her. Let's move Edelgard right here. Okay, so the stats are still RNG when they level. It's a really nice level up screen. Obtain the Iron Axe. Okay, he had one. That's pretty cool that I got what he had on him. 
Oh, thank you, Fox. I don't know why that popped again, but sure. Fox re-upping with the 25 months. Uh oh. Oh, Edelgard. Whoa, what the? Time stone? What are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. They did not talk about this stuff pre-release. I don't remember ever seeing anything about this lady. Hmm. Sothis. Yes. The music here is that so is, dope. My name is Sothis. And I am also called the beginning. But who once called me that? What are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name. Until just now. And just like that, it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Phooey! Alright, Gibbs. Child just saved Thank you, my friend. Life. Have a good night, man. Get some rest. Make you? Uh, I am no child. <laughs> Such arrogance. You look the part, but are you truly an adult? You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Yeah, what? Hmm, I do not hear your gratitude. Perhaps I should force you to leave? There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? What now? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Turn back the hands of time. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. I'm so confused. I mean, why didn't he just, I mean, I wanted to put my back to the guy in the first place. Did you just? Who are these guys? The look. Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed and Who's this? 
Ah, uh, why him? Okay, five turns. Oh, they still do the MVP. Okay, I almost forgot about that system. Thank you. The online stats? What? Captain Gerald? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man! Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garig Mach Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? It's a Jorib. If you're still here, uh, there is a game coming out for PC and PS4 next year. What's troubling you, uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but it's called The Langrisser. Even I wouldn't uh, dare run from the night. That is a game that's been around as long as Fire Emblem that is making a comeback. Soros. They do seem rather skilled. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Yeah, it came out in Japan earlier this year, but it's a great turn-based uh, I appreciate your tragedy help, RPG that uh, your skill is that's coming back. They're remaking part one and two and putting them together. And your People are really excited about it. Geralt, the Bladebreaker, former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? You haven't heard Who are of the Knights of Saros? The most famous order of knights in all of Fodlan. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garigmach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. 
but it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right whoa, to whoa, whoa. Where does your allegiance I gotta lie? I gotta make this choice right now? It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well, Oh, dude, you have to choose right at the beginning before you even get to know these people? Oh, I mean, I, I said I wanted to go Blue Lions, but I was for sure thinking you're going to get a chance to, like, you know, know more about each of these factions. Uh, I kind of want to go with the Holy Kingdom of Fargus because I, I love spears, and I know Dimitri is a spear user as his primary weapon. And I know you can probably get good spear fighters anywhere, but... The fact that he starts with one is just really cool. God damn, man. All right, I guess I'm going with the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Land of noble knights. Understood. Fargus is a noble and distinguished kingdom that has always valued chivalry. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Pretty good voice acting all around. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Each of the three, huh, but what is this about? the same oh, I, oh, I may be sleeping but I... well there's gonna be more than just the leaders in each faction you know like that's how they do it and uh i'm just gonna throw this out there uh for the foreseeable future um i am probably just gonna be streaming this game for a while because the game has a lot of depth to it no i think i did pick a faction but I was just learning more about each of the three leaders. Part one. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. Okay. All right. An interesting beginning. It's very different than the other games. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter. And the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new as they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Art is incredible. The continent of Fodland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Oh, dude, I love the look of their cutscenes. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodland in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. This place looks huge.
Wow. What a teacher. Ray is here. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Er? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Who As is you she? Know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood. Thank you, Optimus Primal, for the follow. That Welcome to NTF Gaming. Yes. For many years. Hope everyone's enjoying the gameplay and everything. Wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I oh, see. that's sad. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? I'll tell her my name. She seems polite. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Okay. Alright. Like I said, very different dynamic than uh, usual Fire Emblem, but it's uh, Forced back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently, that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Okay, oh, why would we have to watch ourselves so around young. here? Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice. Wait, to what? Meet what? She is openly flirting. Like that? Okay. Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned really weird. opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Frank Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then. 
It seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. Yeah, someone please I'll explain to me um, explain. how the houses work. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Pardus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Fargus. Lastly, there is the, oh, the stag house, man, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. That's so good. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next emperor, king, and sovereign duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Gerald character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. All right. So this premise is, uh, I mean, just completely different than any other Fire Emblem that has come before it. The fact that I had to make a choice about which kingdom I want to go back to before I even knew anything about them was... Uh, very surprising. Oh, or cutscenes. A great animation style.
And she's imposing. I know she's supposed to be like nice lady and everything, but. Oh, here we go. Uh, exploring the monastery. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, so we have free reign to move around. Like this, this alone is a very different thing than a typical Fire Emblem. Most other Fire Emblem games, you are mostly walking around the... You don't even walk around, really. You are mostly at a battle screen, and you are just conversing with people at a camp through pure text dialogue. So this is a pretty different uh, approach. Just seeing if there's anything hidden around. You never know. And uh, thank you, like I said, Optimus Primal for the follow. And any questions, advice... Anything you guys have to offer, feel free to just chime in. As long as it's not a spoiler or anything, I'm totally cool with that. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, Come and speak with me. Okay. May I ask a favor of you? Speak with every student you can. This might be your only chance to see what they're really like before you become a professor. All right. Quest for task with you, my people around the monastery. This is the quest menu to see what quest you've accepted. Essential quests are red. All right. Ha! I imagine you were a bit Even this is voice? Holy crap. I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Okay, I mean, I can do that. That's no problem. God. Okay, hold on. I, I almost got overwhelmed. A lot of people there to talk to you. You've accepted a teaching That's position. That's Jorb's favorite. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. Edelgard. I am Edelgard. the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Sure. Oh, wow. See what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Is it's never just a faction leader. They have a, an entire crew that goes with them. Start from the bottom, work our way up. To the west of Fodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Okay. Interesting. You can see their starting stats and everything. Commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. She's a songstress. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. 
I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. This is very He's cool. The second son of Count Bergley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Okay. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terrible. He has no weaknesses, huh? His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rock. His house. Okay. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually, that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant arrogant even but there's little to be done one day i must rise to become adrestia's next emperor what else well it seems to me that we may have similar personalities everyone here is a noble okay that was pretty useful information pardon me greetings you must be the new professor what a pleasure even this guy has a voice? My job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Okay. That guy looks gigantic. I would not want to mess with him. Yes. Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. <laughs> well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? I'm guessing they're for beginners. Why else would they say that? Let's see who we got. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. She looks awesome. I like her style a lot. She looks really cool. Also, she's a commoner, not a noble. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Okay. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. 
You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Double skill experience earned in battle. That seems incredibly useful. Probably why her base stats seem lower than most other characters. He's the second son of a merchant family. Commoner. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Okay. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Nah, actually, that's about it. Okay. I, c I could agree with that. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. Yourself. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Okay. All right. What do you think? Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claw. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Hi. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. I wonder how many of these characters I'm going to get I killed by accident. Von Ordelia. Just because I'm bad Please at Fire Emblem. Forget it. Please do not forget it. Wow. What do you think? Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmond. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Oh yeah, they don't know that I'm going to be a teacher. So... Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? What do you think? I am a mystery. Yeah. A shadow given form. Namdi the wise. This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Hey, hey. hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved His Highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Man, what a name. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued His Highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Okay, that guy seems like uh, he doesn't fuck around. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and, uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I mean, Felix got the Sasuke complex. He just needs to relax. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy, too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Mercedes? Okay. It's Mercedes. Okay. Don't try to make it cute. Right, right. You named her after a car company. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, 
Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Yes, they did. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. No weaknesses. Okay, I like that. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Okay. I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. She has a lot of weaknesses, Jesus. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Okay. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are... Lone Wolf. Perhaps you would uh -oh. enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Felix might be Mike's dude right there. That might be Mike's, Mike's boy. Uh-oh. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Me? Oh, um... <laughs> please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. All right, I think I got everything I, I need. Appreciate your effort. Oh, I didn't have to walk back to her to complete the quest. That is awesome. Uh, I think I'm ready to go. I think I have enough to make my decision. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Alright, well... I think I'm going right for the uh, Blue Lion House. They uh, had the most interesting characters. Pretty good mix of different classes. Some commoners, some nobility, and uh, they have a lot of spears. Also, Felix is uh, my best friend, Macallion. I always try, we, when we play these kinds of games, you always try to find us in the game, even though it's not really co-op. So I think this is the squad right here. I think this is who I'm rolling with. So you have chosen the Blue Lions led by Dimitri, correct? I think that's who I am doing. Your heart has made its choice then. 
All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, does this mean our new professor is... No, I really can't believe it! But I was speaking to you so casually, as though we were companions. Busted! Oh, I am so sorry, Professor. You just look the same age as the rest of us, and... Oh, and, and I'm sorry I just said that to you. I really must watch my tongue. You say that, but I just don't know about all of this. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but if the professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is, if your highness can consent to such a thing. After all, we're already speaking this way to our future king, so we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. <sighs> I Companionably? If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept uh, that word's hard. Gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't have to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, professor? Having heard of your skills, I'm eager to meet you in battle. Come to the training ground later. There, you will show me what you're capable of. You aren't wasting any time, are you, Felix? As it were, count me in for any such battle. <laughs> Pardon me, but I would also love to observe you in battle for future reference, if that's okay with you. Ash, I won't have you speak of merely watching. You should join us as well. <laughs> if you get injured, simply say the word and I'll patch you up straight away. Your Highness, do take care not to go overboard. You worry too much to do. I'll be fine, I promise. My companions, is there not something inherently wrong with crossing blades as a way to bond with each other? Huh, I never thought of it that way. Well, if that's how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground? Ingrid, my dearest friend, you really are too harsh on me. Well then, Professor, what do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch, but you'll find none who work harder. I'm certain we'll cause our fair share of trouble, but I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. Interesting. I wonder what the training grounds just allow me to have combat right away. I like the little uh, sprite art for the load screen. Oh, that's based on where I tilt the controller? I was wondering why his movement seems so erratic. I keep forgetting the Pro Controller has a gyro sensor inside of it. Oh boy, we have a calendar here. Okay. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. 
Crests are a fascinating topic, but before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. Hmm. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Let's find out about yes, this. Of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. <gasps> or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Kill it, dude. This fence is killing me here, this guy. Uh-oh. This is a red number. With each moon, professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Different schedule on different days. Each week you have one day off when you may choose an activity from the list. Your only option at first will be Explorer. Ah. Press at level E. Okay. Well, I think uh, this is where I will stop it for tonight for Fire Emblem uh, Three Houses. Like I said, I got to get some sleep. I got some stuff I got to do. Got a big work weekend ahead of me, but I will be consistently streaming Fire Emblem. Um, really entertaining game. Uh, really like it so far. However, only one battle in the first uh, hour and a half, which is very different for a Fire Emblem, but... This game, more than the others, because of the uh, change in structure, had to do a lot of setup, but I think I'm pretty familiar with all the houses now and the uh, students of them. So next time I uh, hop in, we'll get right to the calendar, right to the schedule, and uh, we'll get right into it. So thanks to everyone on Twitch who's been watching me live, and uh, thanks to everyone on YouTube who's always been supporting me and helping me out and helping me grow. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a good night, everybody, and I'll see all of you next time.